it's time to get in the mix ahead of a very big weekend here in Music City. Mix 92.9's Joe Breezy is filling us in on all the Grammys gossip ahead of the big show on Sunday. Welcome in, friend. Thank you. Happy Friday. Happy TGIF. Friday. I know. We're going to talk Grammys here in a second. This is like the Super Bowl of music, guys. This is a big, big deal we're Sunday ready. night. Um, but I want to talk about Billy Joel. A, he is performing at the Grammys Sunday night. He just released his first single in over 30 years oh. yesterday. Uh, it's called Turn the Lights Back On. I love it. It's classic Billy Joel. Pianos, he's on the keys, powerful lyrics, totally crushing it. So, uh, speaking of of him, so the uh, at City Winery Nashville, they're doing a tribute by the Piano Men. Now, the Piano Men, uh, it's to Billy Joel and Elton John. Now, this is tomorrow for brunch. Starts at noon. You get you get a full brunch buffet, totally family friendly and all ages. And the Piano Men are awesome, by the way. So they're right. They're from right here in Nashville. Their shows are so good. They specialize in tribute shows. Uh, so they're going to crush it. And tickets are like twenty bucks. That's oh cool. Gosh. Two of the best. I know. That's and City awesome. Wine is just a fabulous venue and yeah, all the things. Love and brunch buffet. Fun. Yeah, good deal. Uh, now, with uh, Valentine's Day fast approaching, if you're feeling romantic a little early on, you can actually check out a Valentine's Market tomorrow. Now, this is the third annual at a shop. It's called a Shop of Things, where they're going to have vendors with vintage clothing, handmade, like jewelry and stuff, ceramics. Um, plus, they're going to have complimentary non alcoholic cocktails on site, too. Uh, it's all day starting at 11 a.m., so feel free to stop by and celebrate. Break V-Day a little early, you know? Oh, cute. I, I like the kitten. <laughs> no, <I> know. Know. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're like, sorry, I'm looking at the kitten. I love it. Now, this is really neat and heartwarming. I love this. So the Parks and Rec Department of Laverne are throwing a, a, a daddy-daughter dance. Aww. But it's open to the public, so it's not just like for a specific school. Now, uh, it's tomorrow during the day in the afternoon, very age appropriate, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, there's going to be music, face painting, refreshments, a photo booth that capture those precious memories. Uh, it's, again, it's technically open to all ages and not just fathers and daughters, but that's the theme. Uh, it's at Laverne Middle School. Pre-registration is required. So, Larissa, I was curious because we've seen videos of, of Emma dancing to Daniel's beats and you guys having little dance parties at the house. How do you think that she would do if her and Daniel went she tomorrow? She would love it. Now, I don't know if Daniel would be as hot about it, but she would love it. There you go. There you go. It might be mommy-daughter dance, probably. Right. Yeah, there you go. So you can look into that or, or something to work, to work towards, towards the future. You know? Absolutely. All right. So we talked about it. So the 66 the annual Grammy Awards are Sunday night. Again, this is the Super Bowl of music. This is a big, big deal. Uh, I'm super pumped. Cannot yes. wait to watch this thing. Quick recap of the nominees, and then okay. I want to get your guys' hot pick with a friendly Ooh, little wager cool. here to see who wins. Uh, SZA leads the pack with nine nominations, three out of the four big awards. Taylor Swift, of course, landed a bunch of nominations, including <laughs> three out of the big four, meaning record of the year, song of the year, album of the year, all that. Uh, Nashville local and superstar Miley Cyrus is also in the running for a bunch of awards. <laughs> Jelly Roll is up for two awards. Awards. So with that, you guys ready to take your picks? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to rattle these off quick for okay. record of the year. Uh, Worship by John uh, Batiste, Boy Genius, Flowers, Miley Cyrus, Billie Eilish from the Barbie soundtrack, Victoria Monet, Olivia Rodrigo, Vampire, Taylor Swift, Antihero, or SZA, Kill Bill. I'm going to say Taylor Swift. I was going to say Taylor Swift. Okay. So Taylor, Taylor, <laughs> yeah. I'm going SZA. That's what I think. Okay. Okay? okay. All right. Album of the year. John Batiste, Boy Genius, Miley Cyrus, Lana Del Rey, Janelle Monet, Olivia Rodrigo, Midnight's by Taylor Swift, or SOS by SZA. This SZA. is for album of the year. SZA. Huh. I'm going SZA, too. I'm still going Taylor Swift. Okay, so okay, two for Taylor. Team Taylor all day so far, mm -hmm. and we're going to. Wait, what's the wager? We didn't come up with the wager. I said a spa day. We said Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. <laughs> There's a difference in a price there, although I can eat a lot. So that's, that's why. True. So if you win, we need to combine and get her a spa day. If one of us win, then both of you guys combine and get the Taco okay. Bell. This is important stuff here we're tackling today. Uh, now, best new artists. So Gracie Abrams, Fred again, Ice Spice, Jelly Roll, Coco Jones, Noah Kahan, Victoria Monet or The War and Treaty? Best New Artist. Ooh, Who do you think will win Jelly the Roll Grammys? Jelly Roll for sure. You guys are going Jelly yeah, Roll? Yeah. I used to think it was going to be somebody else, but his trajectory even over the last like six yes. months. I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to guess two, breaking the rules. Uh, Jelly Roll or Ice Spice? Because her numbers okay. are through the roof. Okay. And she's just uh -huh. like the hot thing right now. Okay. So it has been for a minute. So here we go. All right. All right. We're officially fun. on the books. And Monday during In the Mix, we have a little recap and see who wins. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. I can't wait to see all of the fashion. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well,